In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take capture fixture data and import it all into MA2 to make your programming life a whole lot easier. Let's get into it. So we can see up on the screen here, we have capture, we have our alpha, beta, gamma, and project views. And I want to take all of this fixture data that I've spent a lot of time organizing and put it into MA2. And the easiest way to do that is to first make sure all of your fixtures have a unique channel ID. Now, keep in mind, I said channel, not fixture ID. This is a little backwards and then it's a small little detail that's really important for this process. So if you see here and I'll maximize the screen, I have uh, all of my fixtures here with individual channel IDs. Uh, and I'll show you why that's important in a second here. And I want to take all of my 3D position information here and get it over into MA. Uh, and this includes the patch. It includes actually even the color of your layers. So if you import it into MA, these colors for each of the fixture types will also be there, uh, which can be desirable or undesirable. But first, to get it into MA, first we're going to select all of our fixtures. I do this by selecting the first one and then shift selecting the last one. You can see all of our fixtures are highlighted now. And I will go up to file and we'll go to export fixture data. And once uh, we hit export fixture data, this screen pops up. We wanna change our file type to XML. And I'm gonna change this to uh, the file name to capture demo. This name is important. You're gonna have to remember this name for a little bit of MA uh, command line writing that we'll have to do in a minute here. But for now, let's just name, it, name this uh, capture demo, hit save, and it'll pop up another screen. Um, kind of changes how it formats the XML when it exports it. So we make sure we have XML for grandma two highlighted. Apparently this also works for hog. I don't have any filters applied, but if you have any filters uh, where if you just wanna like have the ground package exported, you can have a filter created for just the ground package and export just that. But in this particular instance, we're gonna use all of the fixtures that I've selected. And we're gonna do selected objects only, yes. Okay, now for layer scheme, you want to decide how you personally wanna set this up. You can set it up as project layers, which is how I do it. Um, the, the layer scheme is kinda of how MA organizes fixtures in the patch, right? You have uh, on the left side of the screen, if you'll recall, you have a layers, a list of layers. And then on the right side of the screen, you'll have all of your fixtures within those layers. And I'm gonna select project layers just because um, all of my layers are labeled out by like spot, wash, beam. Uh, it'll just make things easier and I will have to label less later. So we'll go ahead and hit export and we will get a pop-up, which for the most part you can ignore for right now. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what this means when we get into MA, but this number on the right side is it's designed to be able to match up your fixture types within a show file. Um, when you just have a blank show file, your default fixture is the dimmer. So these will automatically import as dimmer only fixtures, and then we can go in and swap them later. This is really the only way to do it right now. Um, I'll, I'll show you why it makes sense to just do it like this. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. And now if I bring over my Explorer window on my desktop, we can see I have my captured demo file and we need to copy this into the fixture layers directory in MA. So to do that, we'll go to local disk C program data. If you don't see this program data folder, see how it's kind of like grayed out. You can, uh, you can see it by going up to view options and under the view tab, there is this show hidden folders and drives option. So you'll hit OK on that, make sure that is enabled. Go to program data, we'll scroll to MA Lighting Technologies, Grandma, and then my installed version is 3.5. Your folder might look a little bit different than that. And then we'll go into fixture layers. Now, if this folder doesn't exist, you can create this blank folder. You can just create an empty folder called fixture layers. And we're going to copy in capture demo. We're gonna move it into that fixture layers folder. Okay, cool. So everything we've done in capture now is over. We can now move over into MA. So I'll open up our screen here. 
This next part can get a little confusing if you haven't dealt a whole lot with the MA command line before, but I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do it and uh, also show you a macro that I've built to kind of automate this process. So I've got my blank MA show file here and I click on the yellow ball to get my command line feedback window open. And we're going to navigate through the directory to get to that fixture layers folder. So to do that, we can just type in list and we see we've got a big old list of our top level directory here. And we'll go, to, uh, go ahead and find, uh, you'll see it's number 11, edit setup. We need to get into that directory. So to do that, we do CD for change destination uh, and we'll go CD 11. Okay, so now we are in that folder. How can we prove we're in that folder? Well, we'll just type list again. And we can see, okay, now we have folders within that. So we're gonna navigate again to our layers folder, CD4. If we hit list, see we just have that layer one auto created uh, that we saw earlier. Now, the other important thing to make sure that you have done is to go to your backup menu and make sure that your internal drive is selected. If you have a flash drive plugged in, it could populate on this screen or older software versions. Um, anyways, we just made sure that we're in there. You can also type in SD1 for select drive one, and that'll always go to your internal drive. Now, all we need to do is say import and remember the name of our XML file from earlier? Do you remember what it is? I barely remember what it is. It's, I think it's capture demo. But we can't just say import capture demo. We have to give it a destination. So we're going to say at one. And there we go. I remembered the name properly. And we can see that it says six objects from capture demo.xml imported. Now we're not done with the command line yet. Uh, you can see we are still in this directory. So to get out of this, we just do cd slash. And that takes us all the way out. And if we hit setup, go to patch and fixture schedule, we can see we have the names, the fixture IDs, and the patch of all of our fixtures that we had in Capture. That saves, that saves so much time. I can't tell you <laughs> how annoyed I was with myself when I figured out how to do this method. Um, it's annoying because you spend so much time doing, doing it one way and then discovering that uh, you could have been saving a whole lot of time, but at the same time, you know, now that you have this information going forward, it's not so bad and it's, it's pretty cool tool. So we're not quite done yet. You'll notice that, uh, our fixture type is still set to dimmer. So I'm going to exit out of edit setup. Um, I'm going to switch my screen to screen two so we can get a better look here. I'm going to patch and fixture schedule. This first one is my beam layer. I'll rename my layer to beam. And then I just switch my fixture type for each of these ones that are set as dimmer. So I'll go to Axiom, boom. This is the color forces. I'll name this layer CF72. Seventy-two mode three. Import. And then Viper Performance. Sixteen bit normal and call that Viper performance. I wish it did automate the layer naming. Uh, I guess it doesn't. Maybe that can be a future improvement. Capture if you're listening. Let's make these changes. And we got a Viper profile in extended mode for all of these. Viper profile. Coming up to the end here, JDC ones in 62 channel mode, my favorite channel mode, JDC one, 62 channel. Okay. JDC one and then quantum wash. We're almost there. Quantum wash basic mode import. Okay. And now if we hit save and we exit the patch, we have our entire patch loaded in, but we're almost not quite done yet. <laughs> There's one other thing. Remember how I said it changes the, uh, the layer color. So if, if I were to go and make a layout view with these fixtures, they would have this color in the layout view. 
which could be cool for you, but I like to see the colors that they are outputting in my programming. So my last step here is to change all of our layer colors back to white. I'm clicking on the uh, header of the column to select the entire column of data, hitting reset to white. Boom, our last one, boom. Cool, so now what can we do from here? Well, uh, it's pretty awesome. You can just create a view of a stage and look, there it is. There's our stage, our ground package, all three uh, sections. Yeah, there it is. And from here you can make selections, you can um, create worlds, you can, it, this just speeds up your programming so much. Um, so that's, that's my little tip for you guys today. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was useful to you, uh, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below what sort of things uh, you maybe wanna learn about Capture or MA2 or production in general. And big thank you to all of my supporters over on Patreon. Um, they are the sponsors for this video. They're the ones who allow me to have the time to be able to make these videos and I'm really grateful for them. If you would like to become a patron, link is down below in the description. You'll get access to this show file, uh, my main show file that I use on um, all the shows that, I, that you see on this channel, uh, as well as some other behind the scenes, perks, videos, all that sort of fun stuff. We have a good time over there. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.